Uh, so, uh, thank you, Nidhi, ma'am. I am grateful for this invitation. And uh, I believe that we all enjoyed the previous session all together. And uh, as the subject is mentioned, that we are going to talk about how to raise or how to create the audio resources or how to write for the radio. We spoke in detail about uh, the radio formats, okay? I would like to just give you a recap. And uh, we spoke in detail about the Apura Devo screen. Just wait. Right. So we spoke in detail about the radio formats. We talked about the documentary. We talked about the docudrama, okay? We also talked about the magazine format, okay? You, uh, you must be remembering this example, the magazine, okay? As we turn on the pages, the variety is changed, right? Uh, also, we spoke about the feature and talks and so on, right? But the question is, uh, how to write for the radio? How to write for the radio? And uh, if the script is well written, I would like to quote, there is a wonderful quote. If the script in radio program is well written, half of the battle is already conquered. Okay? So if the script is written well, half of the battle is already won. So uh, again, I will say that I will expect the messages. How are you feeling? Or if there is any question, I will continue to look on the message box so that I know that we are... Uh, uh, we are talking in togetherness and we are in reciprocity. It has to be re reciprocal. Okay. So shall we start now? Okay. Uh, so once again, uh, I would like to say that welcome back. And we are going to now start with this session, how to write for the radio. And as you see uh, on the screen, okay, you can see on the screen right now and uh, uh, welcome back. Writing for the radio, uh, I would like to say one thing. We have, we do not have the camera, okay? We do not have the visual ads. You have just a microphone. You have just a microphone. And you must be remembering one thing that, uh, what did I say? That if you smile with the microphone, the world is going to smile with you. And if you cry with the microphone, the world is going to cry with you. So only you have one tool, that is the microphone, as well as a software that is the audacity. We are going to talk about that later. So, how to use such words and frame the sentences which accommodates a very interesting audio, okay? Uh, I would like to give you a theme, and the theme is writing for radio is basically writing for the ears. We write for the ears, right? Writing for radio is, again, I will say, writing for the ears. Uh, thank you. I can see one message here, and that says, welcome back. Uh, I am so delighted to be in the midst of you. Writing for radio is writing for the ears, right? Uh, in other words, I will say that when I write for the radio, or uh, uh, by radio, what do we do? We do that we make the listeners see through their ears. See through, okay? Not this. See through their ears. Like, I will produce such a program that when uh, the listener is going to listen to the program, he will be able to imagine. Uh, about the video, we say that it's a kind of, uh, it's not, uh, I should say, it's not a very definite comment. But I want to say one thing that uh, when we talk about the video, it is a kind of passive medium. I mean, passive means it is not uh, anything negative about the video. Uh, please don't mind it. Just I'm going to make you understand, right? So when uh, we talk about the video, yeah, right? True, sir, see through ears, imagining, right? We foster, we encourage the people to imagine, you know, and uh, we give and we give them the liberty. I was talking about the video, and uh, when uh, we see a video program, we are in a word, uh, in a way, captivated. Captivated means whatever is whatever is given is given, whatever is being shown is being shown. If the, uh, I mean, color of the rose is red, all will say it is red. Okay. So we don't have, okay. Right, right. Good comments. So we, uh, so we don't have any liberty. But when we talk about radio, radio gives the ample opportunity to think. 
the way I think, the way you think, the way the perceptions are there, things are very different. So, uh, uh, thank you for the comment. Uh, so, writing for the radio is writing for the ear. Okay. Since all of you are the teachers, so uh, I want to share you uh, share with you a wonderful story. Uh, and this story is about uh, is about. I am not going to name you. Uh, I am going to. I am not going to give you the name, but I am going to start. Uh, in Wisconsin, uh, is uh, is Wisconsin in Wis in Wisconsin is a state in the United States. There was a person who was driving his car, right? And do mind because all of you are the teachers. All of you are the teachers. That's why I am sharing this story with you. I think it's going to help you a lot. Remember this story. A motorist was driving the car. It was the highway. And uh, almost the evening was about to come. What had happened, all of a sudden something happened and the car came to a halt. Car stopped, you know. And he was so perplexed. He was so much worried that what should I do? He tried his level best. So many people came to help. Well, so many people came for help, and uh, they tried their level, and they tried their level best. There maybe I believe some mechanical engineer, some good motorist, some very experienced drivers. Okay, fine. All tried their level best, but no one could do anything. And car was, I must say, the car was standing still. Okay, and he was so much perplexed, so much worried, and he was thinking what to do. I am snared, right? All of a sudden, uh, and, and it was an even tide. It was evening, and the snow was falling, and he was so, I must say, he was so scared. What will happen if the car is uh, in the same, I mean, situation? What should I do? All of a sudden, he saw an old man came, a car came, and car stopped, and an old man came, and he said, what happened? And he got irritated, you know? Don't you know so many people came and I'm here standing still? Nothing was done and you are asking why? What has happened? The old man smiled. Okay, now we are building the sustenance, right? The old man smiled and he said, okay, shall I try if the car is not, uh, uh, if the car is standing still, shall I try? Shall I help you? He said, okay, so many people have done and uh, so many people have done. So you can also do. Can I request you kindly to type one, two, three immediately? Immediately. I will see how many people are responding. One, two, three, yes. One, two, three, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Very good, very good, very good. When we say one, two, three, that's all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm just I'm just actually seeing how many people are responding. So many people. One, two, three. Okay. Huh. We can stop. I can see the flood of one, two, three. Okay. Uh, uh, please stop. Now we will see. Okay. Just. One, two, three. Yeah? Fraction of second within the blinking of the eyes. Within the blinking of the eyes. Right? So, you have typed one, two, three. He simply said that, okay, now uh, lift the bonnet. And he simply within one, two, three. He touched some of the wires. He, he touched, I mean, some of the, I mean, wires there. And then he was so confident. And then he said that now you can give the ignition. Uh, can you respond me back that what happened with the car? <laughs> Can you respond me back? What had what has happened with the car? He said, now car started. Good. That's a very good answer. Car started, you know. And he was shocked with amazement. Who are you, sir? Who are you, sir? So he said that, what is there in name? What is there in name? But he said that, well, but I would like to know your name so that I can say you thank you. I can come to you sometimes. I can come to your house sometimes with a good bouquet and uh, I can say you thank you, right? Okay. Then he smiled and he said, again, again, friends, again, I will say because all of you are the teachers. That's why I'm sharing with you this story. So he said that what is there in name? But well, okay, I'm going to tell you my name. My name is Henry Ford. Okay. My name is Henry Ford. I was able to make this car start just because of one thing, because I am the designer of this car. I am the one who has designed this car. I know each and every mechanism of this car. 
I know where is the fault because I am the one who has already perceived and designed and I am in the process of the manufacturing of this car. Because, because of that I know. And he was shocked and he was so happy. Right. Why did I share this story with you? Why? I shared this story with you just because of one thing. Look at me. Look at me. In the highway of life, in the highways of the life, yes, you are right, sir. We teachers are the manufacturers. You teachers are the designers. You teachers are the one who, who conceptualize the design of a child. Okay? He said, I am Henry Ford. I just would like to say one thing. We are the engineers. We are the designers. Very good response. Very good response. Thank you so much. And now I will say something. Look at me. In the highways of the life, so many students may be standing with a depression because of the broken family, because of the load, okay? Because of the curriculum load, maybe because of so many things, because of the failures. On that time, children are expecting all of you to come and to talk to them and to say, I am going to help you because I know how to design a student. Okay? So I wish you all the best. Do this. Let, that, let in the days to come the students uh, acknowledge you that your voice is your recognition. Your contribution in their lives is very valuable. So this is the story. And now we are moving on to the next. We are moving on to the next slide. And uh, as I have said that writing for radio is writing for the ears. Okay, thank you. Yes, this story always has inspired me. That's why I have shared. I have shared it for so many times. Now we are going to the next. Some important points to be pondered over. Since we are in the educational broadcast, right? Since we are in the educational broadcast, so we must be mindful of certain things. Yeah, uh, true, we have the help student uh, navigate. Very good word. Thank you very much. Nice story. Thank you very much. Let us now move ahead. Some important points to be pondered over. This slide is going to be shared with you, so you need not to be worried about it. So I am going to share this with you. Since it is education, my dear friends, be mindful of the duration. Attention span at the primary level is less, whereas the attention span increases in the higher classes. Right? The ideal format, there, therefore, will be, the ideal format will be, for the young children, will be, I will suggest you to create some good stories, songs, some very rhythmic song, you know, so that uh, they, can, they can dance along. We are going to the zoo to see the kangaroo. We are going to the zoo to see the kangaroo. And they will dance, of course. They will dance, of course. Right? So, good songs, good stories with short span will very effectively work when you create, when you create the program for the young children. But when you go for the higher level, then it's very important for you to understand that uh, uh, the duration can be varied from 10 minutes to maximum 15 minutes because we are in the radio media, right? But if the voice is very captivative, you know, if the voice is very nice, yeah, yeah, Madam will share with you. Huh. So now we will see uh, if the voice is very good, if the modulation is very good, you know, people will love to listen to you for more than one hour. It's okay. But it's a very rare case. Okay? Fine. So, we need to be very, uh, I mean, careful about the, uh, I mean, time span. In a few previous days, the documentaries used to be for at least uh, half an hour. You know? But if the voice is good, listen to me again. Very important. If life is inside your heart, if you are filled with the life, if you are filled with the energy, if you are speaking with the energy, if you are really, uh, I must say, actually coming, to, actually coming to impart something in the hearts of the children, believe me, they will listen to you. There is a wonderful, uh, I mean, poem called Martha. About Martha, the, the poet writes that you listen to her 
right? You listen to her and the story seems. You must be in a you must be in a position to you must be in a position to say that whatever you say, let the imagination, let the image of the story, let the imagery of the story literally be appeared in front of the eyes of the children. For what did I say? Writing for radio is writing for the ear. And by broadcast, by radio program, we make them see through their ears. That's the formula. Right? Uh, so, uh, there is a word, uh, I mean, the point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is called media selection. What is media selection? Media selection means, uh, in media selection, you decide which format, which media format you will choose. Okay? I will explain it further. I will, I will explain it further. Uh, media selection means, I decide whether this particular program will go for video or it will go for audio, or it will go for the multimedia. Uh, for example, you can see that in, uh, I mean, media, audio media, subjects can be language, social science, environmental science, and so on. You know, they become very effective. But when we talk about the statistics, when we talk about the mathematics, when we talk about the economics, uh, mainly for the higher classes, audio medium will not work that effectively. But as far as the uh, language is concerned. You can have a very good poem. You can have a very good story. Art of storytelling is wonderful, you know. So you can have a wonderful poem and you can have a wonderful story. And if you speak, if you speak with the right spirit, you know, if you speak from the heart, you know, story will go directly into the... If it comes out of the heart, it will go directly into the heart. Uh... I can speak on so many theories, but that's going to bring to you the boredom. Important thing is to understand the spirit. The spirit. If something is spoken from the heart sincerely, it will be imparted directly to the heart of the student, I believe. And uh, in, my, uh, in, in my career of broadcast, uh, I have experienced this. So let's go to the next now. Uh, avoid the subjects, okay? which contain statistics and data, right? Now we are moving on to the next, writing for the radio. Okay? Enjoying the session? Right. Uh, thank you very much. Here we see writing for the radio. Some, uh, some tips are there, some tips are there, uh, which you can note. But here is a word that you can see. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Uh, here is a word that we can see, and that is called onomatopoeic words. Okay? Onomatopoeic words. Uh, can anyone write what do you mean by onomatopoeic words or onomatopoeic? Uh, okay, I am, uh, but there is one theory. When you write, yes, yes, right, sound words. Thank you so much. All of your teachers, very senior teachers, I believe all of you know more than what I am saying. I know. And I appreciate your humbleness. Uh, one thing is there, please uh, inscribe it in your heart. Inscribe it in your heart. Your audio script must sound. Your audio script must sound. Write in a way that there must be the sense of the sound in your script. That is called the onomatopoeic words. If I say that... Uh, Okay, we will go for some of the examples. And, and here comes the comparison. Okay, here comes the comparison. You can see certain comparisons here. Okay, right. Now, see the slide. Uh, okay, splash their words. Very good, very good. You are writing natural sound. Okay, we are going to the next slide now. And, uh, okay. Here you can see that onomatopoeic expressions for the radio script, okay? Uh, at your left hand, there are certain words. And at your right hand, again, there are certain words. Splash, buzz, whoosh, rush, crack, good, good words. Uh, these words are basically the, these words are basically the onomatopoeic words, right? Natural sounds, like the sound of the chirping of the bird, sound of the thunder, okay? Uh, or uh, sound of the, I mean, animals. When I say that uh, there was a big jungle, okay, the sound must come. Right. 
So here is some example, how to write but, how to write. Uh, on my left side, I will read at first, the cup fell from the table. Fine, I know, cup fell from the table. But in onomatopoeic, I mean terms, I will write. Uh, <laughs> I will say, the cup from the cup fell from the table and broke. When I say broke, it is basically, it gives the sense of the onomatopoeia, right? Broke. Uh, it means I am giving the direction, I am giving the instruction to the producer that he must, he must put this sound effect with the script. Maybe uh, the cup has fallen from the table and it did not break. It, it, these are the possibilities. But here we see, we say that the cup fell from the table and broke. That means here it is the onomatopoeic expression. Right. I'm coming to the next, and that is, there were birds sitting on the tree. Okay, it's a good information. There were birds sitting on the tree. So what? So what? But if I write in a very onomatopoeic way, I will say, the birds sitting on the tree chirp so sweetly. Right? When I, yeah, very right. You're writing chirping added, right. So your script is sounding now, isn't it? Your script is sounding now. At my left hand, uh, or at the left column, uh, the script is not sounding, right? But on the right hand side, the script is sounding, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, one more sentence I would like to uh, read for you. A river flows by, by my village. Okay, thank you very much for this information that river flows. Thank you. But if I write it in a different way, I will say it is awesome to listen to the alluring sound of the river flows by my village. When I say like this, people will be mesmerized. Sir and madams, you have only one tool and that, and that tool is nothing but the microphone. But the microphone. And remember one thing, it's a theory. The word, the sound has a creative energy. It can destroy, it can construct. It's up to you. It's up to you. How do you use this? Fine. Let me go to the next sentence. And the next sentence is, Beethoven was a great musician. All know. All know. Okay, very good. But it is not suggestive of what instrument he played. If a producer is there, and or if you are going to produce a program, and if you do not know about Beethoven, what will happen that you can add, I mean, you can add any music. But here is the word, Beethoven was a great pianist and a composer. Okay, so it gives you a very clear cut reference that you have to use the sound effect of piano at the backdrop of your sentence, followed by the sound will be, I mean, fading in and then the fading out. What are fade in and fade, uh, and actually fade out that we will talk later on, right? Is it clear? I think it's clear. Okay, we are now going to the next. Right. All do right. All do right. But very few write creatively. I also write. Eh? You also write. We all write. We are literate, so we write. Okay. What's wrong in that? But very few write actually creatively. So I'm going to talk about some examples of the creative expressions. How to express yourself so creatively? If you write something creatively, believe me that it is going to create. It is going to create a new persona in the heart of the children. If you are not creating, if your writing is not creative, yeah, thank you. Kindly share this PPT for our reference. Yes, yes, yes. Nidhi Mam is there and of course, of course. Yes. So what was I saying? Uh, right, right. So if you have written something actually creatively, this is the guarantee, my dear friends, that it is going to have a very creative impact on the listener. So this is the time. In this session, this is the time to, what should I say, to decide or to think. I write, that's okay, but whether I write creatively? Fine. So... I'm going to give you certain examples, okay? 
one informative sentence. Okay. Uh, at my left hand, you see there are two kinds of the writing. One kind of writing is called the informative writing. In this, we get the information. Fine? Information. So, I will give you information. Life is very busy and we have no time. We all know. Okay, we all know. But how to say it so creatively that the people literally fall down? <laughs> how to say it that the people are mesmerized? How to say it in a way... How to say it in a way that the people, uh, that your words are inscribed in the hearts of the children, in the hearts of your audience, right? So, life is very busy and we have no time. It's very blunt, you know, very blunt. Ah, so, I will say it very creatively. I will say, what is life if full of care? We have no time even to stand and stare. You must remember this um, you must be remembering this poem, na? wonderful poem. Yes, zindagi kya hai na, baitne ka samay hai na, dekhne ka samay hai, kya hai ye zindagi? Ya na? Agar aisa bol de, agar bol de, I think all of you uh, understand Hindi thoda thoda. Ya na, thoda to aata hooga? Lik dije thoda thoda. <laughs> you can write thoda thoda, ya na? Matas so that sometimes, yes. T-H-O-D-A, T-H-O-D-A, yes. Haan, thoda thoda, good, good, good. Haan, that's nice. Kabhi kabhi Hindi bol denge. Ah, thwa thwa. Right, right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ag Example number two. Example number two. Ha. Example number two is, thank you for coming. Okay? Let me see the time also. Okay. I have completely now uh, 45 minutes. Thoda thoda. Thoda bahut. <laughs> Adding Hindi sometimes go well. Thik hai. Aisa karenge, ha? Aisa bhi karenge. One more very creative expression. Okay? Uh, if you come and you meet, achha, pura sir. Good, good. Abhi karte hai. Uh, one more example I will give to you, and that is uh, thank you for coming. Like Vikas is with me, and he has come to see me, and now he is going to see me off. I will say thank you for coming. What what will you say? Thank you for coming. It was nice meeting you. Bye. Haan, bas. Usne bas itna bola. Haan, kuch kuch hota hai. <laughs> Thik hai. Aage chalte hai. Thank you for coming. Lekin, uh, it seems to be sometimes very dry. Thank you for coming. Okay? Lekin yaha pa dekhte hai. Thank you for coming. Ko agar mein bolo. Thank you for the compliment of your visit. Thank you for the compliment of your, vi of your visit. Wow. Wow. Huh? I will be electrocuted, you know. I will be electrified. Such a wonderful comment that I have made a visit and he is saying that it's a compliment. He is complimenting me. Huh? <laughs> Thank you for the compliment of your visit. It's a very, uh, I must say, a very creative way of uh, expressing yourself. You are writing creatively. Thank you for the compliment of your visit. The other one who listened to your comment will also be so happy that I have visited and he was not so dry. He did not simply say thank you for coming. He said it's a compliment. So it's a very creative way to express. Now, the next one, all of you must be knowing it. Forest, forest was beautiful and I wanted to stay, but had some work. So could not stay. Okay, busy, so I couldn't stay Very dry. And see how Robert Frost, a very famous American, I mean, poet, he was a naturalist, and how he expresses this. He says, woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go. You know, I have sustained this word, miles. I can also say, and miles to go before I sleep. Anna, you will not like it. But when I say, and miles to go, because my sentence itself is showing. Hmm? Ha. Huh. Thoda in our Telugu thing. Achha, thik hai. Good. Huh? Why did I sustain this word? And miles to go. Huh? Woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. No one will like you, sir. But if you see it with expression, you know, expression is important because in audio medium, there is nothing but the expression only. And miles to go before I sleep. If you say if you say like this, I would uh, encourage all of you kindly to make some. I mean, WhatsApp broadcast group, 
the i mean youtube channel maybe or maybe the podcast we will be talking about the podcast later on yeah ha <laughs> okay thank you so uh if i read you know if you make a group of maybe in uh, uh whatsapp broadcast uh, there can be 256 members okay so you have already captivated okay you have already captivated 256 precious souls ha huh? ke precious children ha huh? you have a wonderful wonderful opportunity to speak in a way with the energy so that they are captivated so that they are inspired and so that they remember you in their lifetime okay the words are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep right that's the spirit i can talk about so many accurate terminology aaiye hum log milkar gyan sikhe are koi nahi sikhta everything is available everything is available in google google knows more about us you know after god google knows more <laughs> let us go uh ji ha uh आगे चलते हैं और इस समय देखते हैं देर इज अ वेरी वंडरफुल एक्सप्रेशन वंडरफुल एक्सप्रेशन इन क्वारल्स ट्राई टू स्पीक क्वाइट आर यू गिविंग मी सरमन वाई शुड आई कीप क्वाइट है वाई आर यू टॉकिंग टू मी लाइक दिस इन क्वारल्स ट्राई टू कीप क्वाइट अदर इज सेइंग सो मच बट इफ आई से यू नो बट इफ आई से यू मस्ट नो टू स्पीक साइलेंस वाइल क्वारलिंग है he will forget his tension and anger <laughs> ha yes i am going to give you one more example he will if you say in quarrels try to keep quiet yeah, he may be angry you are giving me the knowledge you are giving me gyan <laughs> okay okay that's all that's all that's all that i did not say ah uh, hmm so if i say just i am talking to vikas okay uh, vikas you must know to speak silence hai na so he will say what he is saying so he will take some time to think on it okay ha <laughs> so say in a way say in a way that really captivates a person last sentence i will come writing for radio is a skill good we all do agree but if i say writing for radio is writing visually for the ears ah ha ha isn't it wonderful writing for radio is writing visually for the ears jab hum radio ke likhte hain to aisa likhte hain ki kaan se hum dekhte hain ji hum kaan se dekhte hain ha aankh se to har koi dekhta hai ha kaan se dikhaye tab na kamal hai that's why it is the audio session right to kaan se dikhaye <laughs> make the people see through the ears and that is a miracle by eyes all are seeing na by by eyes all are seeing what's uh, abnormal in it but sir we do one thing we make the people see through the ears okay let us go to the next slide right ha huh. uh here are certain do's and don'ts okay here are certain do's and don'ts while writing for the radio again i will say sir media selection is very important as i said in the last session that uh, i mean uh, nep 2020 it emphasizes greatly on the use on the best possible use of radio radio or the community radio i will uh, i will explain a little bit what is a community radio uh, community radio means uh, very precise uh, i am speaking a word okay if a, if anyone is listening from actually tamil nadu uh, he can uh, uh, type the translation of this डल ओसाई 
Good, good, good. Sounds of the sea. <laughs> yeah, sea sound. Right, right, right. Why did I say so? Because we have a community radio uh, in Tamil Nadu and the name of that community radio is Kadalosai. Okay? Sound of the sea. Sound of the ocean. How wonderful. You know, you listen to this and the sound comes in your ear. Eh? <laughs> sound comes. Sound of the ocean. Uh, the NEP, it emphasizes. Uh, we will mix in between the academics also. File? Ha, huh, right. So, uh, actually, community radios are such which signals are not very uh, lengthy, you know. Uh, the Within the radius of only 15 kilometers, within the radius of only 15 kilometers, they broadcast. Community radio means, uh, by using community radio, you can exactly address to the problem, the problems of a particular community. Because you speak in their own language, if I say that uh, this is the broadcast from Patna, Ranchi, Bhagalpur, or this is the broadcast from the Mumbai, Pune, and Lonawala, okay? So the area becomes very far, very vast. That is basically broadcast. But when we talk about the narrow cast, uh, I mean, community radio is a wonderful example. And nowadays, be uh, because the NEP says that you have to reach up to the farthest, uh, I mean, uh, length of a country, Yes, stories, cultural and linguistic diversity, social and economic development, entertainment and education, right. So, uh, I will say now, uh, I will uh, state a poem in Hindi. Bharat teri yehi kahani. Bharat teri yehi kahani. India, this is your story. Bharat teri yehi kahani. Sao kos par badle pani, do kos par bani. In 100 kilometers, the water is changed. The properties of the water is also changed in 100 kilometers. But in two or three kilometers, even the language, even the dialect, it also is changed. Right? Huh. Yes, uh, it, is, uh, it is our podcast. So, uh, talking straight about the education, I would like to tell you that we have 257 community radio stations to whom we are feeding. And we have a wonderful response from the children because they, the community radios have planned our broadcast, our educational broadcast to their particular area. You may ask that why I'm saying so. All of you are the wonderful teachers. All of you are the designers like Henry Ford. Okay. All of you conceptualize. Okay. Create some good poem. If you create some good story and you can share it with the, with your local community radio stations and you can say, and they will be happy to give you the slot. It's quite possible now. It's quite possible. Let the world listen to you who, you who you are. Let the let the world recognize who you are. Not by seeing maybe, but by listening. Right? So, uh, one more example I will give and it's very interesting. So friends, I am Ajit Horo, your friend and I, I am your host. I welcome you in this broadcast. I am talking to you, I am speaking to you from New Delhi and our program channel is, uh, and the name of our program channel is Umang, as all of you know. So I am going to share with you a story. I am going to share with you a wonderful story and this story will let you know how not to write. Everyone is talking about how to write. We are talking about how not to write. Okay? So uh, I am going to share this story with you. But first of all, I will speak something to you, right? Uh, when you write for the radio, my dear friends, then the language must be as simple as possible. The best examples are the FM radio presenters. Sometimes I am frustrated with them also because they do not take care of the pronunciation correctly. Their modulation may be right. Their modulation may be very flowing. That's okay. But the most important thing is you must utter the word so clearly. Because when you are uttering something, child is learning. How are we actually pronouncing? Okay? So, the language must be as simple as possible. Number two, avoid formation of long sentences. Because, um, because they are not seeing it. They are not seeing it. They, ma they might tend to forget. They might tend to forget. Okay? So, avoid formation of long sentences. 
there are possibilities that they can forget. Now, one thing more, uh, I have this book, I have this book, but nowadays the books have improved. Uh, NCRT has uh, now published the textbooks for class one, two, three, and six in English and Hindi. And the books are wonderful. Why wonderful I am saying? Because they are connected to our roots, our culture, our flavor, our local color. But I am talking something else. This is a book. And do mind that uh, the audio language, spoken or media language, is different from the bookish language. Okay? It's very important. Do not write as if you are writing for a book. If you are writing for a book, write for a book. Fine? If you are writing for a book, then write for a book. Do not use the media language there. But if you are writing for the media, write for the media. And But when you write very creatively, you know, then even your book will sound as if it's a media script. Okay. Now, friends, I'm going to share with you a very interesting, a very, a very interesting thing. And I hope that all of you are going to enjoy it. And uh, you can see on one, two, three, four. Uh -huh. Okay. On fourth point, do not have greed. Don't have greed to show your vocabulary. Ah, yes, right. Don't have greed to show your vocabulary. Sometimes what happens that uh, if uh, I'm given something to write, I will think that I will write in a way that uh, my Supremes, okay, or my officers, or maybe I am, uh, maybe I will try to, maybe I would like to impress someone. Sometimes our target audience, uh, it should not be taken in a negative term. Sometimes our target audiences are our, our superiors, not our target audience. Okay? Not our real audience. For that, we need to have the audience profile. What is this? All of you know it. That's I know. So, uh, we should not have the high sounding words. Ah, well, I am given to write something else. Okay, I will show that I am also a very wise person. I am very intellectual, you know. I will, I will fire. I will fire some wonderful bullets of the hard words, of the difficult words. He will be convinced that I am very intelligent because he won't be able to understand. <laughs> That's not the way at all. I must write in a way so that everyone can understand. Everyone can understand. Yeah, high sounding. Bombardment of the words. Maybe someone will come and say uh, how wonderfully you wrote, you know. But, uh, uh, I mean, in his heart he will say, yes, you have written, but you have written to read for yourself. Bahut log apne padhne ke liye kitab likhte hain. Dusra to padh ke samjhe ga hi nahi. Okay? So, uh, there, is, there is a practice to catch the monkey in Africa. Okay? Now hold on to your breath. We are going to have a wonderful, uh, a wonderful practice, uh, which is there in, uh, I mean, Africa, in the jungles of Africa. Are you ready to listen to this story? <laughs> come, come on. Yes, come on. Now, uh, as I have said, as I have said, that don't have greed. Greed is the key word. Okay? Right now, catch it. Greed is the key word. Sometimes we have greed to show our vocabulary. I am talking about the Africa. In Africa, uh, there is a very peculiar, I mean, practice to catch the monkey. Here in India, when uh, we, uh, if we try to catch a monkey, we can use a net. Okay. We can throw a net or we can have some other way. But there, they have a very, very peculiar, very interesting practice. What happens? Okay, look at the screen. Look at me. They would take a coconut shell, right? Our uh, majority, of, majority of friends are from South India and from Northeast, so all of you understand it. When I say a coconut shell, we also see here, but all of you can relate yourself uh, with this word. So they take a coconut shell and they make a hole at the top of it, okay? Like... Uh, uh, if it is a coconut shell, okay, I will make a hole on it uh, at the top. 
and the monkey is sitting on the tree. Monkeys are sitting. <laughs> monkeys are sitting and they are looking what they are doing. Huh? What they are doing. So what they will do, they will take a coconut shell and they will make a hole at the top of the coconut shell and they will put some gram inside that. Gram matlab chana. Okay? Grams. They will keep it. And the monkey is seeing. Hmm. Now I can see that the gram is put there. And then the hunters, they hide themselves in a bush maybe and they will see what the monkey will do. So monkeys they see and they come slowly, slowly to the where? Type it. They come very slowly to near the near the shell. Right. That's the right answer. Yes. Okay. Now hold on. Now hold on. So they come near the coconut shell and what he will do that he will put his hand inside. See. See on the screen. He will put his hand inside. Okay. But the size of the shell or the radius of the shell is so small that only hand can go inside. But if it is uh, but if the fist is there like this, if the fist is there like this, if monkey holds something inside, okay, if he holds something inside, he will not be able to bring out his hand. Okay, that's the way. What happens? Monkey comes. <laughs> monkey comes and he sees that the coconut shell is there. Okay, right? I would like you to type here again that uh, what the monkey will do. What the monkey will do. Agla slide. He will do. Okay. Now, okay, gram is there inside. Gram is there inside. Okay. What is happening now? Okay. I am. I am going to tell you. Okay. So. Right. Right. What he will, what the hunters will do, they will see, they will see that the monkey had come. Monkey had already entered his hand and he has grabbed the gram. And now they will shout, you know, oh, let us go, let us go, let us go, catch the monkey, catch the monkey. Okay. And they come runningly. And the monkey tries to run away. But what he will do, if he just wants to be saved, you know, only he needs to do one thing, that he has to free his hand. But he is not doing it because there is a greed. There is a greed, you know, there is a greed that I have now, I have some grams and I want to eat it. So I will not, so I will not, so I'm not going to free it. Right? What happens then? Agar jaan bachani hoti to khali haat bahar nikal leta, lekin nikal nira hai. Kyon? Kyonki haat mein chana hai. This is the greed. And because of this greed, the monkey is caught. Greed kills the monkey. Same thing happens in the broadcast. Same thing happens uh, in when we write for the radio. Same thing happens when we write something very creative. On that time, we must abstain ourselves to write difficult words, to frame difficult sentences. But we have the greed. Let me write in a way so that I am recognized worldwide. <laughs> no one is going to recognize. They will rather say that he is writing for that he is writing to read for himself or herself. Right? Is this example okay? When you remember this, you know, always you will always remember this story. We have, we may have so many grudges. Huh? We may have so many, uh, what should I say, the frustrations inside and so many things are there. Okay. But we need to know one thing. We need to release the things. Also in the media, it's very important to release certain things. Okay. I have kept high sounding words. Bombarding words I have kept inside and I am given a chance to write and then I will say, okay, let me show who I am. Eh? Let me show who I am and then I, and then I will write. No one will understand. So, try to come down. Look at the screen. Try to come down, as down as possible. You know, Albert Einstein, he has said one thing. Simplest things are always the greatest. Simplest things are always the greatest things. Right? So, this is one of the examples. Okay? 
uh, one thing more. When you write for the radio, use anecdotes. No one is there to listen to my knowledge. Okay? Anecdotes are very important. I believe that these stories are basically inspiring you. The story, the story of Thomas Edison, the story of uh, Mount Morgan. Okay? Now the, now the story of monkey, you know? So uh, try to use the anecdotes. Whatever you write, that will be very effective. The parables, the modern parables, that is very important. So we are now moving to the next. And uh, right, 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 right. Your script must sound, your script must look like this. Sorry. Are you going to go? Just wait, just wait. Yes. Look at the screen very carefully, my dear friends. Your script must look like this. Thanks for the media. All of you are using the emojis. Okay? And by seeing, by looking at your emojis, I know your mood. Okay? If you say yes, like this, though, I will be happy. Okay, he is saying yes. Okay? Thanks for the person who invented this, uh, who developed this, or who evolved this emoji. Right? Your script must look like this before you record. Okay? As I said, as I said that uh, if you smile with the microphone, okay, complete the sentence. If you smile with the microphone, type it immediately. Type, type. If you smile with the microphone, world will smile with you. Okay. Then if you cry with the microphone, make the sentence complete. World is going to cry with you. Okay. Thank you. By this, I am sure that all of you have grasped. Right. So now... Uh, Focus your eyes on the script and also look at my expressions. No one is looking at me. Okay. Because I am talking to my blind friend. Okay. I am talking to my blind friend and my blind friend is not able to see me. Yet I will smile in the studio. Yet I will smile when I will record. Yet I will cry when I will record. Yet I will express my emotions while I record. Okay. Good. So, look at the script now. This is a program script. It's a radio script. Welcome, friends. Namaskar. Namaskar. I'm your host, Ajit. It's a real delight to talk to you in this radio show. Thank you very much. This morning, I have so many things to share with you, dear friends. But before we move on further, let's have educational news highlights. Let's have educational news highlights. Now, smileys were there. Here, I am going to be a little bit serious, okay? But before we move on further, let's have educational news highlights. Increasing load of school bags has caused a serious concern among parents and the students as well. Now, let's dive into a very interesting story of Thomas Edison. Look at the screen, the script as well as at my face. Now, okay, when I shared a serious thing, I made my pitch, I made my tone very serious. Okay, but now again I will smile. Yes, right, right, right. Come. Thank you very much. Now I request you, all of you kindly to thank you very much. A wonderful information. Just for a while, simply stop, I mean typing, and look at my face. Now let's dive into a very interesting story of Thomas Edison. The well-known scientist. You know that when he invented you know that when he invented the electric bulb he was asked you have invented that's very good but for how many times did you fail for how many times did you fail friends 
<laughs> he laughed and said, you know, what did he say, you know? He said, I failed for 10,000 times. He said, I failed for, I failed for 10,000 times. But I will not call them my failures. I will not call them my failures. I will say that I have succeeded to discover 10,000 such steps which will never lead to me, which will never lead to the invention of electric bulb. <laughs> wow, what a positive perception to look at the failures. Yes, he said, they are my steps, right? So it's the way, uh, your script must look like this. Your script must look like this. Fine? Uh, did you, uh, do you feel this, uh, I mean, presentation is effective for you, uh, especially this script, uh, which is in front of your eyes? Do you think it is going to help you? Yes, yes. Do like this, do like this. Because at that time, now you will get nervous. Oh, oh, microphone is there and I have to speak. So, uh -huh. <laughs> you can even <laughs> lose your um, senses. The crowd is there. The audience is there. The studio is there. How should I speak? Uh, and, then, and then you will start fumbling. So, be focused on your script in front of the microphone, in front of your mobile, when you are writing a story, right? Be focused on your script. Otherwise, you will get nervous. And be focused on the smileys, okay? Welcome, friends. <laughs> My script is saying that I need to smile, you know. Namaskar. I am your host, Ajit. It's a real delight to talk to you in the studio show. Welcome back, okay? So when I use the emojis, okay? Emojis lead me. They literally lead me to the mannerism or to the manner I need to speak in front of the microphone. It's very useful. It's very useful. I have found it very useful. Okay. And always prepare a script. And remember this, that for the young children, the duration must be short. For, uh, I mean, the senior students, okay. Uh, Duration can be a bit long, but not very long. But always remember the story of the monkey. <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead. And now here, uh, some important points. Now I'm talking about the recording. Okay. And uh, finally, I will share something very uh, exciting with you. Be prepared. You can type now. All of you can type now. Recording, okay? There are two kinds of microphones, dynamic microphones and the condenser microphones. Dynamic microphones are mainly used for the speeches, for the drama, for the radio show. But when we talk about the condenser microphone, they are used for mainly for the music recording, for the singers, right? Now, for one thing, you need to be very, uh, you need to be very cautious that you need to maintain a proper distance with the microphone, at least one liter, actually this much, right? There are a few words, there are a few words which hit on the microphone, hit. Hit means the air will come out of your mouth and it will hit the microphone. Look at me. The, the air will come, certain words like pa, pa. Do like this. Uh, put your finger in front of your lip and say pa. Did you do? Did you do? You have to say pa. What happened when you said this? Air hit your fingers, isn't it? Air hit your fingers. Right, right, right. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, like, pa, ba, hai na? ba, bharat, ba, da, pa. Okay, these are certain words. Uh, in Hindi, jo apke swar jo shabd hai, pa, pa, ba, bha. Hmm? Pa, pa, ba, bha, ma. So I do not know in your language which are certain words, which are those words, I do not know. But you need to explore accordingly. And like when I say, uh, like, phal, okay, phal, so it will hit. 
तो हाउ विल आई से वो बहुत सारे फल लेकर आया ओके सो दैट आई हैव सेव द माइक्रोफोन टू बी हिट ओके राइट सो दीज आर सर्टन आई मस्ट से द टिप्स एंड इट विल बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर यू नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट एज फार एज द साउंड एडिटिंग इज कंसर्न वी आर ऑल्सो सेम साउंड यस ये इन ऑल द लैंग्वेजेस मे बी ऑल द लैंग्वेजेस बट इट इज यू टू एक्सप्लोर इज इंट इट Uh, it is you to explore that in your local language in your mother tongue which are those uh, i mean microphone hitting words right in hindi they are pa pa ba ba pa pa ba ba ha ba ha like this okay uh, now there is one thing very important i am talking about the editing but uh, kindly note that uh, we have certain softwares we have certain softwares uh, of uh, audio recording and audio editing nuendo cool edit sound forge logic pro and audacity audacity is the open source uh, i mean uh, software in which you can record okay you can edit and it is open source and for rest of the softwares you need to pay the license fee which is very high order city you can download please listen to me carefully you can download this and you can have a practice on that tutorials are available on youtube as well as tutorials are available also on ncert official youtube in which i have given you the training in which we have demonstrated okay and and but i believe that our training will be uh, more effective for you step by step on that you can go and practice makes a man perfect uh okay i will type it for you uh you can see at the last okay you can see at the last and uh, that is the outer city okay i am typing it for you au da c i t y outer city okay this is outer city uh you can download it and uh, 0.3 version is okay right what will happen with this that if you speak if you uh, maybe tell the story is order city available no it's not available on mobile you need to have you need to have your have your laptop or the desktop okay in mobile it is not possible in mobile you can record recording is very good uh, what you can do uh, certain technical things i am going to share with you uh, yes yes for pc yes yes right 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 nuendo cool edit sound forge logic pro uh, uh, these are basically paid softwares but audacity is the open source okay now filmora is for the video i am talking about the audio i have 10 minutes left okay so i will try to uh, i will try to actually cover um, each and every aspect of this audio writing so uh, you can use the audacity audacity is very good and in which what you can do layer 1 on layer 1 your voice will be there if you record on your mobile you can do one thing mobile have uh, all the mobile phones have different sound formats okay uh, some record in mp3 some record in m4 hai na different but you can uh, convert that into mp3 going in the uh, i mean mp3 converter you go to the google and and it will help you right then you can have layer 1 in layer 1 you will have your voice in layer 2 there will be music okay in layer 3 there can be sound effect and uh, it's a very comprehensive it's a very good software you can use this audacity is very good at least uh, not very professional but yet very effective audacity okay now i am going to the next and uh, since i am left only with with 10 minutes so i am going to this uh mixing mastering we do not need to know ha recording in mobile okay mobiles are the most popular devices for the recordings there are some good mp3 flash recorders as well if you are teacher uh if you want your lecture to be delivered to your students you can also use the mp3 flash recorders not very costly not very costly but they can record for uh, almost as far as i know for 30 hours continuously please share any link to know about editing okay okay we will share that we will share that uh, our audacity link is there uh, 
I will share that, that after this session is over. Okay. So you need to do one thing that you uh, record in your mobile. Then you send it to okay your laptop. Convert that into MP3. Download sound effects and uh, some very good sources of sound effect like uh, soundbible.com soundbible.com uh, and if you go to that uh, they give you free of cost the sound effects like the chirping of the bird the jungle sound the sound of the jet the sound of the uh, i mean uh, i mean uh, the flowing of the river and so on so many soundbible.com okay i am going to type this for you soundbible.com Okay. Also, freeplaymusic.com. They are also good. Fine. So, you can use this. So, now we are coming to the conclusion of this session. I spoke so many things, but what can you do to reach your audience? I'm left with actually 10 minutes. Okay. Soundbevel.com you can find. You can find. That you check later on. I will share some more links with you further. Later on. Okay. So now, uh, what you can do? How to disseminate the audio resources? How to disseminate? We can have sometimes, uh, I mean, hands-on experience on uh, the order city also. But uh, th that can be done later on. Depends on the time. Uh, yes, yes. Soundbible.com. Yes, yes. Uh, free sound effect. Yes, yes. Of course. And it is a reservoir of... Yes, yes. It is correct. It is correct. Another one I will share with you. Uh, now, concentrate on the screen. If you want to actually produce a program, a radio program, an audio program, and the miracle of the audio program is what? We make them see through their ears. <laughs> That's the miracle, right? Download the Order City software and you can produce a program. You can do that. You can make a WhatsApp group, broadcast group. You can also have the WhatsApp channel. WhatsApp group is okay. WhatsApp group is okay. Uh, in WhatsApp group, actually 256 members can be added. Okay. So you are reaching to 256 students or the children at the same time. Now, again, it depends on how you speak. If there is no heart, huh? if there is no heart, there is no art. And if there is no art, there is no heart. <laughs> right? Depends on how you speak. If you speak, again, I will say with the energy, with the, uh, with the compassion, with the motion, and with the inspiration. If you are not inspired, how can you, sir? How can you inspire others, ma'am? Right? So, uh, immediately you can do, after this session is over, you, you can create a, a broadcast group on WhatsApp and try sharing the stories. Share in a way so that it stimulates the imagination of the children. Right? And uh, as uh, what happens, you know, sometimes this happens that... Uh, Whenever uh, we take the uh, we take our picture, we take our snap on the mobile. We don't like our picture, isn't it? We don't like our 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 photo. Same thing happens with your voice. When you record in the mobile, now you will say that I don't have a good voice. But if you continuously do it, you will fall in love with your own voice. There is a myth. People say that the world is after the great voices. That's not true. World is after the great messages world is after the great messages right you can do one thing more that you can download the spotify or anchor or the broadcaster okay these are the uh, i mean podcast uh, platforms in which you can share your story you can share your program you can also start the youtube channel so uh, it is about the podcast which i will share with you later on and uh, here comes the conclusion of this program so i want to say I want to say thank you very much. Uh, if there is any question, if there is any comment, I would love to read that. I hope that you have enjoyed this. So friend, 
So friends, I'm your host, Ajit Kumar Horu, and I'm speaking from NCRT Sound Studio. And uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this program. Our The title of our program is Umang, and you can write to us on 880-55059. You can write there, and I will be waiting for your comment. So thank you very much. So ab apne dost Ajit ko agya dijiye. Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you so much, sir, for this wonderful session. And uh, as always, in the chat box, we can see that all the participants have enjoyed the session thoroughly. And um, we would like to ask if any query is there. Yes, there is. There is a query, sir. Should I ask? Yes, yes. Uh, sir, how do we start a free community radio? That is asked by a CBSA teacher. Okay. 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 Uh, for that, uh, you need to uh, find out uh, in your website. In the website, you go to website and just try to find out: Are there any? I mean, I mean, community radio stations nearby? Okay. And uh, right now, as far as I know, there are six hundred community radio stations in in a, in a few different areas. But also, you have to find out that which station is nearby. Okay. of your locality and you can talk to them mm -hmm. uh, you can contact them and i believe that they will love to have your program they will love to have your program mm -hmm. so uh, i think uh, internet or the google will help you a lot so you can find out that is there any station community radio station nearby and uh, also you can uh, i mean contact them i mean contact them with the email or the with the website and you can do it yes Thank you so much, sir. Is there any Thank query? Mm. There is a query. Like your YouTube channel, is there any? Uh, pardon me? Yes. Like YouTube channel, is there any way to have your own radio station? Uh, it's not possible uh, at present, at least, to have your own radio station. Like uh, some uh, some broadcasters, those who have the hobby to broadcast, they purchase a kind of the suitcase uh, acute transmitter. But that is not allowed nowadays. You cannot have your own station. But uh, uh, why to go for that? Your mobile itself is a wonderful broadcaster. You can use you can use you can use your mobile, and you can reach, as I said in the beginning, up to the end of this world. Okay, so it's very useful. Use this particular, use this powerful tool and it's going to help you a lot. Any type for us for activity to be done today? Uh, okay, I will type some activity for you. Or I will say that, uh, do one thing, you might have seen the script, na, like on which I have used the emoji. Okay, write a success story and the struggle story uh, of at least 10 to 15 lines and use the emoji on that, right? And try to read it accordingly. And you will see that entire, that your perception is changed. That can be a good homework for you. You can do it uh, after session or you can do uh, when you go home. Write a success story, but not only the happy thing. Actually, select such a story uh, which, uh, uh, I mean, contains almost all the emotions. Like the struggle, okay? Like the success and like other, I mean, kind of feelings, okay? On that, when you will write, na, uh, using the emojis, you will find that how wonderfully you have written. Try to write creatively. That can be the homework, that can be the work for today. So, thank you very much once again. Thank you very much. I just would like to see all of you. I would just like to see all of you. And just want to say one thing. Uh, okay. Sabko uh, sabko I am waving. I am waving my hands. All of you can. All of you can. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Nidhi Ma'am. And thank you to all of you. A great honor and respect to all of you. And thank you very much for this fellowship. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, this wonderful session and also for... Uh...